Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can create a dynamic chart using the switch function and the filter function. So across the top, I've got some little buttons which I can click on. And as I do that, you can see that the chart changes to reflect the data from whatever is selected. Now I'll also go through how to create these radio buttons and how they're linked to this yellow cell F1. So first of all, there is the formula that's been used, but let's have a look at these two functions, filter and switch individually. So the filter function basically works like so. So equals filter, and then you have an array. Now I've called this data, I've highlighted this area and called it data. So if I type data in there, that's selected, you can see it on the screen. Now I want to filter by a column in that data. So let's say I want to filter by region. So I've called that column region. So I can type region. If region equals, and then I can select whatever region I want. So if I want the, the north, I just put north in quotes like so. If region equals north, close the bracket, and then click the tick and it'll just drop in anything out of this list that's the north. Now, obviously I can have that um, looking at a cell instead of looking at typing north, I could have it looking at a cell and then have a drop down list there for each of the regions. Now the switch function, if I look at switch, which is what's happening um, up here, the switch bit, if I type equals switch, what I want to do is look at F1, which is a yellow cell. So F1, so if F1, and then if it says one, which it does at the minute, I want this to say north, switch to north, comma. If it says two, comma, I want to switch to south. I'll just do those first two, and then you can see how that works. Close the bracket, click the tick. So it says north, and if I tick south, It'll say south because there's a number two there. So that's basically how I've done this. Now, to get the graph and everything like it is and do it all together, what I need to do is just quickly delete this graph and then I can recreate it. So I'll get rid of that. I'll get rid of this function. And I'll just leave that bit there. Now, these little buttons um, are from the developer tab and you get them from inserting form controls this little option button there so if i if i sort of right click on these i can delete them right click delete right click delete right click delete and then i could just replace them by inserting from the developer tab now if you haven't got the developer tab you need to go to file options and customize ribbon and tick the developer tab on, which I already have. Okay, so then you should get this option. You draw your little circle, comes up with option. Now, if you get yourself, make it a little bit bigger so you can see the text, you can just get in there and delete this text off. You don't really need that for this example. And then click away, and then you can click it on and off. Now. At the moment it is not connected to anything so i just need to make this a bit smaller and then i'll need to format this so i'll just posi position it underneath north and if i right click on it i can format control and you've got a cell link there so the cell link in this example is going to be f1 now I'll click ok click away and then it's on at the moment but if i copy copy that and just push it into the next one and then move that into position like so and then paste it into the next one and the next one so you don't have to draw it again you just need to position them and to move them like i clicked on it there you need to right click on it to move it into position so now when I click on these, you can see the numbers changing from one to four. So that's what I want, the four options. So now to do the, the filter function, 
and the switch function, which is going to be looking at that number, you just get yourself where you want the data to go. So it's going to be equals filter, open the bracket on the filter. So the table array is still called data, which is that table on the left there. And I want to look at the region. So I've called that column region. You can see it highlighted in red or pink, whatever color that is. Now I'm going to equal. So before down below, I type leads. Um, but now I'm going to use the switch function and that's going to look at the numbers at the top in cell F1. So switch F1, if it says one comma to north comma, if it says two comma, it wants to be south close quotes comma. If it says three comma, it wants to be east. And if it says four, comma, it wants to be west, close quotes, close bracket, close the filter bracket. So at the moment, let's just check that. We might miss out some quotes. Let's just tick that. And then it drops it in for the north because it is north. And then south, then east, then west. So that is working okay. So now to do the graph. It's highlight the data, insert a bar chart, like so. Position that wherever you want it. Just don't need a title for this. And I don't want the fill there, so I'm just going to double click on the plot area and put fill to no fill and border to no border, no line. And then that's like a see through. Now, when I click on these other options, you can see that this is now um, going the up upside down. So I've clicked on this list. So there's a blank at the top. I don't want that blank at the top. Um, I want that to go like so. Uh, I don't need this either. So now when I click on these, you just get the, the line at the top. If I click off the graph, you don't need to see that at all. Just get the line at the top like that. Now, if you didn't want north, you could have just um, done it differently. You could have done city. You could have done sold because I've called these. That's called sold. That's called city. So you, whatever you want to look at filter wise, you can select it. But obviously, um, this has got the, the target. The red is the target and the blue is the actual sold. I mean, if you want, you can um, add data labels. And then if you format data labels, I should have done that on a mall actually, format data labels, um, category name, like so. And then if you didn't want the value on there, you can just go north leads, whatever, whatever you want to put in there, you can show on there, series names. No, I don't want the series names. But that's basically how you use this filter function with the switch function on these little option buttons, which then gives you a quick look and a quick changeover on this graph so you can select whichever one you want. So that's all I want to talk about in this little session. So hopefully that's been of use to you and thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.